Hey guys, using oxidation states, you can tell whether a reaction is a redox reaction or not. So here I'm going to work you through loads of examples. When we are looking at equations in reactions, you can see that the oxidation thing, state of things change. It goes up and it goes down. And we know that oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. Working on from that, we can say that if something has increased its oxidation state, it has lost electrons, so it has been oxidised. And if something has decreased its oxidation state, it has gained electrons and been reduced. To work out if an equation is a redox reaction or a disproportionation reaction, the first thing we need to do is to work out the oxidation state of everything. So hydrogen here is just combined with hydrogen, so that is going to be zero. Oxygen here is just combined with oxygen, so that again is zero. Oxygen over here is going to have minus two, and hydrogen here is going to be plus one, and there are two of them, so overall contributing plus uh, Two. So we can see that hydrogen has gone from zero to minus one. It has increased its oxidation state. It has lost an electron, so it has been oxidized. Oxygen has gone from zero to minus two. The number has gone down. It has gained electrons, so it has been reduced. And because something has been oxidised and something else has been reduced, this is a redox reaction. Iron on its own is going to have an oxidation state of zero. Chlorine in combination with itself is also going to have an oxidation state of zero. Chlorine over here is minus one and there are two of them, giving us minus two overall, making iron plus two. So you can see that iron has gone from zero to plus two. This has increased its oxidation state. It has lost electrons. It has been oxidised. Chlorine has gone from zero to minus one. It has decreased its oxidation state. It has gained electrons. It has been reduced. Here we have fluorine on its own, so well with itself, so that is going to be zero. Oxygen is minus two. Hydrogen is plus one, and there are two of them, giving us plus two overall. Oxygen now over here is zero. Fluorine is minus one. Hydrogen again is plus one. So we can see that oxygen has gone from minus two to zero. This is an increase in the number. It has lost electrons, so it has been oxidized. Fluorine has gone from zero to minus one. This is decrease in oxidation number, it has gained electrons and been reduced. So a few examples for you there. You can see a redox reaction is something that has been reduced and something that has been oxidised in the same reaction, a redox reaction. And because these are redox reactions, you can use um, the oxidation state to balance these reactions. It is going to make your life so much quicker, so much easier if you can learn to do this.